What's up everybody? Uh, Mike at Steel City Rips coming at you with another video. Um, today we're going to try something that at this point we probably all know what the outcome is going to be. We're going to try some hangers versus some blasters. See what happens with Series 1. My opinion, my guess is, is that we're not going to get really anything out of the four of these. But <clears throat> maybe if you're uh, that's what you can afford, that's what you want to do. You kind of want to know what one you want to buy. That's why I will make this video for you. So um, I got the blasters a while ago. I just got these like a day or two ago from Best Buy. They lost them in shipping or something. So it was pretty interesting. Um, but <clears throat> let's get started. We'll kind of do one side to each and see who kind of wins at the end of this. So um, we'll start with the hangers and then we'll go through uh, the blasters and we'll see who's better. So um, I don't know how much you, of this you guys have opened so far, but uh, I've been kind of limiting what I'm buying of this product because just from what my experience and then what I've been seeing <clears throat> in other people's uh, experiences and videos is this stuff's not that good. Um, <laughs> so unless you buy like even the hobby boxes aren't good, <clears throat> you um, pretty much have to buy the jumbo. So if you do want to be cost efficient, I recommend going to the local card shop and buying some uh, jumbo packs individually. Um, I think at mine, it was like 20. It's probably higher now that the price have gone up on jumbos, but, um, that's what I kind of recommend. So we'll kind of rip through these, see what we get through there. And then we'll get to the good stuff, which we all kind of know how that's going to go. I think out of all of, uh, what I've pulled of this stuff, there's been like, I don't know, one good card that's come of it. So, just to tell you how that's been. I opened, like, one random one off camera just for me. And, uh, so there's our first thing. Rainbow foil. So, on the rainbow foils, uh, one out of every two. So, <laughs> so the other one, odds are, isn't going to have anything. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So, there's that. Shoei, Wander, Bryce, Jose. There's one of my guys, at least, Ronald. And then Riley Green, that's not bad. Rookie, it's an insert, but rookie nonetheless. So something there, but definitely not worth the $12 so far. I mean, I guess if you break down all the individual cards and really try to sell it on your own, you can maybe get your money back. But, you know, there's a lot of those Michael Harris's and stuff out there. They printed a lot of this stuff. So, if that tells you anything, it's going to be probably, as long as you get the numbered cards, you'll be okay. But from there, I don't I don't know how, how good a shape you'll be in after that. So, one hanger down. <clears throat> one to go. I know it's been a minute since we've done a video, but it's been kind of slow going with... I haven't been wanting to buy this stuff, so it's like... I do have something else cool coming for you guys that I kind of found on sale on uh, Panini's website that I snagged up. So we'll rip that in the next video, but keep it going with this Cal Mitchell. Keep it going with this one, just to you guys know what's in here with the base stuff. So I'm not going to bore you with that. SpongeBob. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, tell me what you guys are thinking with this stuff. So, <clears throat> have you guys opened anything cool out of hangers or blasters? Looks like we got a numbered card, so that's a first. <clears throat> Exclusive hit on the channel, Trevor Story. <laughs> so, Trevor Story, dude's probably not going to play most of the year for the Red Sox with the surgery. Uh, it's a cool, weird, out-of-order number. Well, I don't know what they call that, but 0223 out of 2023. So, there's another little hit there. There's the blue, retail blue exclusive Taylor Rainey. Those aren't numbered. They're just like the blue retail box exclusives. Judge, Trout, Lindor. There's Adley. That's not bad. I'll take some Adley action. And then, oh, do you like Jazz? Because I do. It's my boy. A little Jazz. Smooth sounds. My man's promised a gold glove in center field this year. Let's see what he does. 
There's little Otani Detmers. I like that. That's a cool little card. Detmers is one of the guys I'm watching. I got a bunch of his rookie stuff. And then keeping it rolling with the rest of the base here. I'm just pulling out the rookies for just in cases, causes. I don't know if you guys saw the Pirates started off their, their preseason with a grand slam. That was pretty neat. Um, Rodolfo Castro. So we're going to need that dude to hit for the Pirates if they're going to do anything this year. I don't know. I'm hoping for a third place finish in the division, but we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> All right, guys. So as far as the hangers go, we got one numbered card. Got a couple rookie inserts. And then, you know, a Michael Harris, you know, that kind of thing. Vaughn Grissom. So a couple, couple cards, but... Nothing amazing. I mean, could you get your money back if you nickel and dimed it? Sure. But is that why you're opening that product, just to get your money back? Probably not. So, blasters, here we come. Now, these you'll get the commemorative patch. I've been lucky with those. I got, I mean, I of course, I got some that aren't numbered, but I've gotten some that are. Um, so, that was an interesting thing that has happened. So, first one here. Blaster packs. So what do you guys like to open in general? I mean, odds notwithstanding, do you guys like to do the blasters? Do you like to do the hangers? Um, previous years, the hangers have been, quote, bangers. But uh, Tops is trying to correct that, <laughs> apparently. So there's a Chris Morrell insert. So that ain't too bad. And then Christian Yelich. Who knows what version of him we're going to get this year. Yonis Sotasa. Cabrera. All right. <clears throat> so, so far, that's just a Nick Prado. So, so far, one okay card. Pack two. Chris Morrell might be somebody to keep an eye on. Not that I want to see people in the division go ham, but you never know. Could be, could be someone to hold on to some cards for. Another rookie. Kind of a mess here. This shit's all falling apart. My bad. Just Rojas. Hey, there's our patch. Brandon Crawford. We're going a little off camera there. My bad. So there's our there's our patch hit. Lou Bob, one of my guys I collect. Brady Singer, Lugo. I did pull a short print of Sanchez. It was like the um, stats, the altered stats on the back with how they do the <clears throat> the modern stats if you will completely missed it so watch go through your cards because the only reason i knew let me see if i have it sitting here somewhere um the only reason i knew is i went back i was kind of sorting cards because i was trying to see what all i needed left to do the set because you know the jumbo case you pretty much get a whole set so i completely missed this card because the only way you're going to know is if you flip it over it's the same exact art or photo as the base card. So I was going through sorting by number and I was like, oh shoot, we got a numbered card. So heads up on that one, just for your, your uh, notice. Side gray, trying to get back into it here guys. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, that's that weird rookie, old, old man rookie. Vogel boss supposedly shows up 30 pounds less. We'll see about that. My man was saying he was rolling up the plate at 270. There's no way. My man was pushing three bills last year. A little J-Rod action. Second year. Naylor Chapman. So, two okay cards. I don't know. That, that patch is worth a dollar. I mean, you could post it on eBay, see what happens. Maybe, maybe you get lucky and, uh, you know, Brandon Crawford's aunt or somebody's on there and wants to buy that. So, <clears throat> Nolan Jones, David Villar, Liam Hendricks, Springs. There's a home run challenge. Byron. Put that off to the side. I'm going to have to submit all those. There's an Adley on the Stars of MLB. So I guess we'll put that. That's number two of those. Meadows, Vasquez, Dylan Bundy, Gary Sanchez, G Baby Sanchez. I just put those all on my rookie cards. I'm a mess. All right. G baby. Three more packs here. We've already got what our uh, quote good stuff should be. So 
let's get lucky because right now the hangers are still the bangers and if that's the case this is going to be embarrassing so uh fyi don't drop money on this crap because it ain't good there's a sunny gray why they put him as a feature on an insert don't know i mean maybe five years ago that would have been good but Lindor, nothing so two more sorry if i'm a little short-winded it's uh you know i bought these before i really knew what was going on and it's a little disappointing so at tops what are you doing there's a blue retail. You probably get one of these in, in one of these blasters. A little Muki color match at least, I guess. So maybe two bucks for that. Mike Trout, anything Trout's pretty sweet. And then uh, that's that. So last pack. Last pack magic maybe. Let's give it a go. But, I mean, so far, I mean, I'm probably going to lean towards the hanger still at this point. Because they're about the same price. Um, two hangers for one blaster. So, O'Neill Cruz, that's just for me. I do like these cards. These are pretty sweet. I just wish it was like a numbered one or of someone good. Aaron Judge. All right, so one blaster down. So two hangers versus one blaster, I'm probably going to the hanger. So for the money, they're, they're pretty much the same money. Um, I'm going with the hanger, so let's see what this last blaster's got. We'll go 2v2. We'll give the blasters a chance at redemption. But let's see what we got. We got a lot of cards hanging here. We'll try to go a little faster on this box. Oh, we got something backwards. Rainbow foil. So... Rainbow fo foils in the blasters. Let's just take a look. Rainbow. One out of ten packs. So I guess that was about ten packs. So math is math is right. Here's a Bobby second year insert. We're gonna run out of room with the cards. I guess some of these aren't really considered any good, so. All right, some poopy rookies mixed in here. Eli Morgan, there's our, all right, we'll take a rookie. Shea Langleers on the patch. That'll supersede the other one, Mike Schmidt. I guess some people collect the, uh, the Hall of Famers. Yelich on the insert. And that's that. All right, keep it moving, keep it moving, full speed. McKenzie. Duffy. Stott. Marte. Parte. Another Lou Bob. Insert. Didn't see any rookies in that pack, so that was a good pack. That one should go to the top of the board on all-time packs. That was a good one. <clears throat> Tops freaking kill me, dude. This is just kind of crazy to me. Like one numbered card, and you drop, I don't know, 60 bucks on this retail stuff. Throwback insert. Might as well throw that back to Tops. Another Julio insert. Second year is not really doing much for anybody. Three more. Halfway through kind of aggravating at this point you know someone at tops and what why they did this i don't know it's kind of disappointing i mean for people you know it was cool for people who can't afford to do um you know hobby to be able to go to walmart and just you know for their kid or whatever and just be able to get a cool pack of cards and maybe get something cool for their kids um can't do that now so, you know, you would think that Tops wants to spread the love and not keep it top heavy, but you know, what you know, I'm sure they pay people millions of dollars to to tell them what they should and shouldn't do and not some guy you know pulling cards on a on a screen in a in a room somewhere to tell them what they're doing, but 
just a recommendation. Lindor again. So, last pack. Let's see what happens. If you guys are as disappointed as me, let me know in the comments. Just, you know, let me know what you're thinking, what you're seeing. Um, maybe he's, maybe somebody's gotten lucky and has seen some cool shit come out of this. But for the most part, um, my experience has been dookie. Um, there's our blue parallel. So, yeah, it looks like you get one of these in each. At least it's a color match. Royals rookie. Mike Trout. A couple of those already. So... All right, guys. Well, that's that. Um, you know, sorry. Thanks for hanging this long, at least. You guys can see what, what this is kind of all about. But, I mean, even with two blasters, this was still close because you got the numbered card. You got a good rookie insert. You, you, I mean, you still got the Adley. You got two. They, they might be, you know, they're flooding the market with the Adleys, with the Adley inserts. But, you know, it's cool to get a little Langley's patch. Maybe that kid ends up being pretty good. He's supposed to be a good hitter. So, but, um, yeah, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Um, I've been seeing more and more of you guys subscribe, so I appreciate that. Keep them coming, and uh, I'll keep them coming for you guys. So thanks for the support. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.